Like you run into people all the time and it feels like you're dealing with a puppet. Like they're like, oh, hmm, hmm. Robotic. Get up, go to work, never feel. Don't let anything in <laughs> or touch or hurt or feel good or not. Every man walks around, not every man, but the majority of men walk around. Hey man, how are you? Good, great. Yeah, I'm awesome, man. Good, great. How are you? Can't complain, but they're cheating on their wife. Their kids hate them. Their business is failing. They're fat. Like they're barely got their head above water, but they're putting on this front like everything's okay and, and it's not. I think mastering your emotions is a very, very difficult process, certainly. But I think it's funny when you hear someone say emotions or that person's emotional or we're gonna talk about emotions, why do we only think of the negative? Like, I'm pretty good at being happy. I'm pr pretty good at showing joy, right? It's just the negative emotions uh, that seemed to um, cause difficulty. When you express your emotions, there's a certain level of vulnerability there. And when there's even hesitation, no less disregard, but even just hesitation, like you were saying, it turns that vulnerability into feeling like a weakness. So like, I feel lonely. I'm gonna be vulnerable enough to share this with you. I feel lonely. Even when you just hesitate, like, I don't know what to say. I don't know how to, I don't know how to react to this. I don't know how to respond. Even that hesitation makes me feel like that's a weakness. And now that you look at me as someone that doesn't have it all figured out. But man, the ripple effect that will occur from you being vulnerable and bringing this stuff to the surface, it's so far reaching because it, it is desperately needed, especially amongst men. Like men just don't like, and I think about like my, my dad's generation, his dad's generation. You just don't talk about this stuff. Like you, you don't, you don't. No, because you're you're weak. You're a pussy. Yeah, you like know? you just. My like, family's from Indiana, dude. We're about yeah. as hardcore as it gets. Yeah, like you, you just don't. Man. There's just no like th those spaces don't exist. They just don't exist until one person has the audacity to create it. And I think because the negative emotions are what require the vulnerability, and you know we're all products of our fathers one way or the other, and. You know, a lot of that's going to be in how we're raised. And typically, you know, our parents' generation, they didn't show a lot of emotions. It's because their parents' generation didn't show <laughs> a lot of emotions, uh, especially on, on, on the male side. And so if that's just the way that it is, it's certainly not the way that it always has to be. My dad didn't give myself, didn't give me permission. I gave myself permission. Mm -hmm. But like as fathers now, we get to we get to give ourselves permission to not be like my hardcore dad, sure. you know, from Indiana, where it's roll up your sleeves. We don't talk about our feelings. We don't tell our son that we're proud of them. There's a million reasons that my son could come up with why he can't pursue that if that if that's what he chooses to do. He just got to give himself permission, and the only way he's going to be able to give himself permission is to see me broken, yep, and to see me build myself back up because he's going to get broken in his life. And it's and, happen. and see you telling those stories without shame. Like there's no shame. And right. when he can see the vulnerability and when he can see the the struggles and the pain without the shame, right? Then that's what gives him the ability to go, oh, got it. Like it if I mess stronger. if I mess up, it's okay. My dad's still gonna be right. my dad. And 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 I can and I can talk about these things because that's what you ultimately you want is for him to be able to talk to you about anything. And it's somewhere trying to figure out that that sweet that sweet spot in the middle, I think, um, where you can experience the emotions and use the emotions, uh, but not be on the extreme one way or the other, because I think it's important to be able to experience them and to be able to, um, whether they're negative or positive. Emotions are powerful, man. They are. And, and people that cannot tap into them or cannot, cannot uh, access those at will, that's a problem.